Welcome to our video on unit testing with Quick. Today, we're tackling a puzzling question that many developers encounter. Our viewer is curious about why the before and after. Each blocks are called multiple times during unit testing, even when they expect them to run just once for each test case. Let's dive into the details and uncover the mystery behind this behavior. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. In unit testing with Quick, the before each and after each blocks are designed to run before and after each test case. However, you may notice that they can be called multiple times. This behavior occurs because of the nested structure of your tests. Each describe and context block can introduce its own before each and after each, leading to multiple invocations. In your example, the before each in the describe block runs before the context's before each. This results in multiple logs for each test case as each level of nesting executes its own setup and teardown. To clarify, the after each blocks are called after the test case completes, but since your test is nested, it may seem like they are called prematurely. This is the expected behavior in Quick. If you want to avoid multiple calls, Consider flattening your test structure or using fewer nested contexts. This will help you manage the execution flow more clearly. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The user tested the issue and found that each test case executed only once. This suggests that the problem may be due to specific settings in the user's environment. The user replaced a logging function with a print statement for testing purposes. They provided a sample code structure using Quick and XC test. The console output confirms that each test case was executed once, even when multiple tests were defined. Removing a test case also showed the same behavior. And that's it. I hope you found the solution that you're looking for. If you did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.